passing the Pompidou Center and the Stravinsky Fountains, a very whimsical ensemble of modern architecture and some classic older architecture, the Hotel de Ville. It looks like an ancient building, but actually it's turn of the century. And into Notre Dame, which is truly an ancient building, the Great Cathedral. It was the first great Gothic cathedral of its type that was later copied all over Northern Europe. Construction began in the year 1163, making this building 840 years old. It took them 200 years to finish the construction. It was such a major project for its time. A brief rest in the park. Even young people need to sit down and recharge their cells and they quickly bounce back. We're continuing our walking tour onto the Ile Saint Louis with a mandatory ice cream stop here at Bertillon. This is really a famous ice cream parlor and this is their main headquarters right in the center of the Ile Saint Louis. You can find Bertillon ice cream at some of the other restaurants and cafes on the Ile and in a few places scattered around town. It's a very special ice cream. It's freshly made and bursting with flavor. So it's interesting for us to compare with the gelato of Italy. It's really a toss up. Onto the left bank, passing some Bucanista, where they sell the old books and antique manuscripts. We're walking through the heart of the Latin Quarter and then back across the river. The banks of the Seine have become a very popular spot in the summertime and then tucking into a fabulous French dinner. This is our first real French meal of the tour, and it's a great one. We're dining at a restaurant called The Dog Who Smokes. It's just a block away from our Hotel Novotel, and the food is excellent. The service is also very prompt. And with the group, everybody was free to order off the menu to ensure that they get what they wanted. But you've got to leave room for dessert. Check out these concoctions. There's fresh fruits, there's chocolate mousse, of course, different ice creams available. Very elaborate food presentation, always at a fine restaurant in Paris. We're here in the summertime, so the evenings are long and it stays light quite late until about 10 p.m. So it's a good opportunity to have a little stroll after dinner. Nice neighborhood for that is Le Marais, which is a real popular evening spot for cafes and restaurants and lots of locals out here, a few tourists. Very safe, very clean, very interesting in the Marais. We're staying at the Novotel Leal, which is right in the heart of town. It's only about a 10 minute walk from the Louvre, which we'll take you to later. And there's very convenient metro service from the Novotel. So today we're catching the train. We're going to start our day with a visit to the Eiffel Tower. You can get there by metro or by bus. You could get over there by taxi, any number of ways, but it's a good idea to get to the Eiffel Tower in the morning just as it's opening which is generally about nine o'clock in the morning and that way you can avoid the lines and get right up the elevators and up to the top you want to go up to the third level which is the highest level for the most commanding view out over the city you ride two different elevators to get up there these are original elevators that came with the tower that was built by FL back in 1889. It was the highest building in the world when it was constructed. And it was meant to be a temporary building to be torn down after the World's Fair, but they found a good use for it to transmit radio signals, which had just recently been invented. 
and it's been the most popular tourist attraction in France ever since. You get great views all around the city. There's a nice gift shop and a snack bar up there. And then you ride the elevator back down again. The total visit only takes about one hour if you come first thing in the morning when there's no crowd. If you come later in the day, in the summer on a busy day, instead of one hour, it could take you three hours for the total visit. So it really pays to be here early in the day. Then you can be on your way to your next visitor goal. And in this case for us, it's going to be a visit to the Champs-Élysées. Now to get there, we have to walk from the Eiffel Tower about a half a mile to an elevated metro line, which takes us across the Seine. And then it goes underground as most metros do taking us to Place Charles de Gaulle, which is the beginning of the Grand Avenue, the Champs-Élysées. We'll be walking slightly downhill. That's the advantage of starting out from the Place des Toiles. And you go downhill about a mile along these interesting shops and cafes. And we're going to take a shopping break at Virgin. What better place for some young students to have a free time, do a little shopping, see how the French record stores might differ from American stores. One difference is this one is huge. Megastore is no exaggeration in this case. It's really one of the most spectacular record stores you'll ever see. And of course they have videos and DVDs. There's a cafe inside, regular all around gift shop in there. And when you get tired of the store, back out onto the Champs-Élysées, have a look around. There's a newsstand in front that is typical of these Parisian kiosks. Look at the large number of out-of-town newspapers they've got. After all, Paris is such a cosmopolitan capital. It figures they'd have a lot of different foreign language newspapers, and they certainly do. 